Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB video and today we're taking a look at what people are saying is a top tier point guard in my team right now, 95 overall, pink diamond, Pistol Pete Maravich. Now the point guard position this year especially is looking like it's the most important position mainly because point guards are really the only cards that are moving like that. 2K hasn't really released any cards that are dribbling like that at the small forward or power forward or anything. So a good point guard is very important. Now last year we did get a pink diamond pistol Pete that ended up being very legit. This year it looks like we're getting one as well around the same time. So the question is, will this pistol Pete be worth it? Because this man right now is going for about 300,000 MT. He's in that pink diamond Steph Curry range. So we're here to see if this card really is gonna end up being worth it. As always guys, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, man. We're on that grind to 300K subs before 2022. Y'all been showing love even when I haven't been uploading consistently, so I appreciate it a ton. And let's also aim for 1,500 likes on this video. Now, before we do move forward, guys, one thing I do wanna mention since I said Ping Diamond Curry is I was giving away a Ping Diamond Curry over the weekend, and the winner ended up being this guy that I'm gonna post right now. I did announce it on Twitter already. Since I didn't make a video on YouTube, I announced it. But I got you guys with yet a another giveaway this weekend so make sure to tune in for that but with that out of the way man let's get right to it so 96 offense for pistol pete 85 defense no surprise that's always been his weakness but he's a 6'5 point guard 197 pounds and his offensive stats guys they look great 95 driving layup 92 draw foul 93 mid-range and three ball 87 free throw not the most athletic when it comes to the dunking but this card is meant for hunting for threes. You look at the ball handle and passing, absolutely phenomenal. His defense, again, that's gonna be his weak spot. 80 perimeter, 78 steel. You don't want this man getting posted up because 38 interior is tragic and the paint mashing is already OD. Uh, 89 down the line with the speed. Obviously you can up that with a shoe. I recommend you do if you decide to keep this card. 84 hustle, 80 lateral quickness, which is something I probably increase with a shoe as well. And the mental game, not looking too bad. Pass perception's a bit tough, but we'll make it work. When we get to the badges, six Hall of Famers, 27 gold and six silver. And the Hall of Famers are great. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, acrobat, ankle breaker, mismatch expert is no joke, as well as slithery finisher and stop and pop as well. And then we got corner specialist, difficult shots, fearless finisher, teardropper, hyperdrive, glue hands, quick chain blinders, bailout downhill, handles for days, needle threader, quick first step, space creator, stop and go, tight handles, unpluckable, clutch shooter, dead eye, bullet passer, volume shooter, like a lot of great badges here, man. Fast twitch, silver dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, circus threes, even got the chef badge. Now, one thing about the Pete Maravich is he can't hold any more defensive badges. This card will be getting cooked on offense. I heavily recommend you put him on someone's shooting guard or small forward that can dribble. And one other badge you actually cannot hold is the Limitless Spot Up Badge. Now that it's been fixed, you really can pull up from deep. And even though Pete can't do that, that doesn't mean he's not gonna be an elite point guard. I think even with the badges given, he's gonna be a great offensive card and you just gotta kinda hide him on defense. Either way, he's looking great on paper. I gotta see what this card can do in Unlimited. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into a game and let's see what Pistol Pete here is really all about. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. This guy's got a solid squad. I see Westbrook is the matchup, Miles Turner at center. Let's get down to business. Now, Unlimited's been feeling weird the last couple days, so I'm gonna really try to sauce. Be fast for me, Pistol. Thank you, hit the screen. Pump fake, I should've shot that, that's on me. I don't know how I greened that. Oh my goodness, Pistol, how are we gonna start off like this? We going there, no sir. Westbrook, you're not gonna be dunking in my house today. I'm sorry, we running. I see you reaching a little early. Melo on the inside, pump fake. Jalen, give me those, bang! Good defense, he's trying to run that guard pick and roll and it's not working out so well. Great defense there by Pistol Pete and he's gotta foul me off the bat. Pretty good start so far. All right, Dwight, I'm gonna need some good screens from you if I'm gonna three point hunt. There we go, hit that screen. Can I pull from that deep? Yes, I can. Now the thing about this Pistol Pete is he doesn't have that sniper badge, but that shouldn't matter because shooting is so easy in the game this year that if that's a concern for you, you're simply just not good at shooting in the game. We got Pistol Pete on Devin Booker because Booker definitely does not move like that. Look at the defense right now. Good defense. 
That's still gonna go down, unfortunate, but that's only his first bucket. Let me see if I can sauce up this Westbrook. Fake that screen, thank you. See ya, thank you for reaching. Way too open and that's another green. You gotta remember that Pistol Pete's got the blinders. If you're even behind me for a second, I'm pulling. He's not wasting any time. He went straight to the full court press, which honestly is fine, man. I've been full court pressed all day today. I can make something out of it. Look, he's behind me again. Pull for three, another green. Pistol Pete is looking like a cheat code right now. Give me that. That's got to be a steal next time, but we don't have that interceptor badge. That's the thing. You can be a good defender. Thank you for throwing that, though. There we go. Little cross action. Drive in and quick stop. Pull for three again. Bang! Oh, that would have been nice. See, I guess that's kind of where I do need the sniper badge for hitting those full whites, but it's all good. Let's go right to Pistol Pete. I get one good screen here and it's a wrap. Hit that screen. Oh, that's on me. He reached early. Now he's behind me. We're knocking down the white. Hey, I'll take it. So far, he's moving. He definitely needs a speed with ball shoe, though. I will say that. Get me in the post. Chris Mullen can't stop Melo. I promise. Has he? You saw what he was doing on the Lakers. Hold that fade away. As long as he's got that Hall of Fame fade ace, I'm going to keep feeding him. Melo in transition. Not sure what you're doing with this full court press, but by all means, go for it. One thing I am noticing, he's looking to target Pistol Pete on offense every single time, and that's fine. Let me just get a screen. As long as I got my stamina, we're going to be all right. Westbrook's cooked. Behind me again. Pull it up, and it's a green. All right, guys, we're in the second quarter. He's very deep in that full court press, which is fine. Pump Big fake. Foul. Inside to Dwight. Big Pump foul. fake. I thought he's jumping, and I'm dunking right on Vince, man. Up 13 points. Right now, we're vibing. Oscar Robertson is a good card, but he doesn't have that clamps badge either, and he doesn't move like that. We're here. Throw that here. Oh. So even though we don't have that limitless spot of badge, can we still pull from deep with this card? This man, get off of me, please. Come here. Oscar, I'll cook you right now. Thank you. Right behind me. Stop in. Oh, you're lucky I went into a moving shot. You're so lucky. Shoot with Kareem. I dare you. Hold it down in there. I'm jumping. Get that out of here. Dwight Howard, defensive player of the year type energy. Let me go right to pistol. Easy blow by. Nah, never mind. If I get a screen here, I'm going out to the three-point line. Stopping. I'm popping. Not a green. What? But it's a bucket. I'm hitting way too many contested shots with this card. I got to be honest, guys. I'm getting bailed. Uh, let's put on some pressure here. Make him make a bad Coco. pass. Mello. Good defense. I saw that coming. I guess he deserves that. I hit a contested three. He deserves that. Now that I got an actual big that can stretch the floor, cross it up. Thank you. Stopping. I'm pulling that. Come on. I'm not scared of you. You're an easy bucket, Kareem. There is nothing scary about you when I got that mismatch expert badge. Come hit that screen. There we go. Hit that screen. Oh, yeah. We good. All the way. Out to AD. Pick and pop. Goodness. Dimer me, mama. Three to the dome, baby. Deny. Hold it down, Kareem. Or not Kareem. Anthony Davis. Got that rebound, Jordan. That's a missile to the corner. Bang! I still love this Michael Jordan, man. He's such a good card. Look at this. Get a stop. Oh. All right, guys. We're in the second half. He's still trying to run that guard pick and roll, and it's not working out too well. I mean, Pistol Pete's holding his own on defense. I prefer he do less on defense so he has more energy for offense, but look at that. We locking it down. Don't try to paint mash me. It's not going to work. Hands up. Yes, sir. Hold it down for five more seconds. Get around that screen, Jordan. You're the best, Jordan. Yes, sir. That's the defense you want to see, man. Now let's run with it. All right, guys. Now getting into the second half of this game, I'm going to try to utilize more with Jordan just because Pistol Pete's quite tired. And, well, Jordan's a bucket. So, AD, spread the floor a bit more for me. Give him the ball. I'm going to let Pistol Pete sit in the corner and wait for him to get open. Hit that screen. Thank you. All the way through. Hey! Like I told you, man, Jordan's a demon. I don't know what it is, but 2K definitely tweaked something about the gameplay because it's just been feeling weird. Hit that screen. Thank you. Oh, I'm going all the way. Yeah, you want to go to that corner. I'm going to take the dunk every single time. Give me a screen here. I need one good screen. We're vibing. Fake that. Thank you. Cross him up. Stopping. Pull for the midi. Pistol Pete, I need you to do something for me, man. That jumper is feeling slower because man's is exhausted. I actually need him to hit that screen. Thank you. Hit the screen. There we go. Oh, we good. All the way through. Jordan, get a little flashy with the dunk stick, baby. Pump fake. Paul Pierce, we got Devin Booker on us. This is barbecue chicken every time. There we go. Add to Embiid. Give me those. Bang. All right, guys. Now in the fourth quarter, trying to step it up. This man is just trying to press me like crazy. You're lucky I don't have space for a three there. Finesse that. Thank you. See ya. Pull for the midi. That's you, Pete. You are exhausted, but that jumper's still falling. He's not greening because of me, not him. Good defense. Get the ball. Yo, if we turned that ball over somehow, I would have been tilted. 
Driving right through. Grant's Hill in the corner. Why not a three? I'm not sure, but I'll take the easy two right there. I'm just trying to close this game out at this point. Pump fake that. Out to Mello. Pump fake. He's jumping at that. Thank you. That's an easy mid-range pull-up. Let's go, Mello. You absolute dog. Cross him up. Thank you. Got him. Hit that screen. Stop him behind me. Pull for the midi, and that's another green. I'm utilizing that mid-range right now with how he's playing defense. Come here. You want to guard me up, right? Finesse that. Thank you. Stop it. Pistol Pete. That's all you. You stop and pop machine, man. Close this quarter out in godlike fashion. Let's keep going. Oh, he's trying to throw double teams. Come on. I'm going all the way. Pistol Pete, all you. I tried to dunk it. I'll take the easy layup right there, though. We vibing. I didn't even realize it's a six-point game, but I got takeover. So I'm trying to do some heinous things. Step back. Pistol. All right, let me chill. See, that's me doing too much when it's a six-point game. I got to relax. Just like that, it's a four-point game. I'm not losing, though. Thank you. Hit that screen. Stopping and popping. Not a green. That's got to be a bucket, and that's the nail in the coffin, man. This Pistol Pete, even without the sniper badge, feels like he's got the sniper badge. Just set a screen. Make the pass. He's going to have to foul us anyways. And we got some free throws. This is not how I had this game ending, but honestly, I'll take it. I thought he knew he was done for, and he'd take it easy with a full court press, but people love to sweat in Unlimited right now. It's been crazy. I haven't played in a couple days, and things still have not changed. Got Give me that steal. Thank you. I don't know what you thought you were doing. You were not going to be clutch. Mello to Pete. One more for the boys. And that's going down, man. All right. So we're going to end up closing this game out 74 to 66. GG's to my opponent. Pistol Pete was doing his thing. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. And let's see how our boy did. All right, man. So as you guys can see in 20 minutes, Pistol Pete closing it out with 41 points, four rebounds, three assists. No steals or blocks. You guys saw I was trying, but when you don't have Interceptor, you really just don't get anything. It was blasphemous, but 15 for 24 from the field, 9 for 16 from 3. I was getting very trigger happy, kind of stupid towards the end. He almost caught up, but luckily, we still closed it out. He had a couple free throws as well. No dunks this game, and all around, man... Pistol Pete really is a good point guard, and I'm sure once you finish badging him out, and once you give him the shoes and everything, he's going to be very good. But here's the thing. Pistol Pete is great, but there's nothing to me specifically that stands out that says, this is a card I need on my team. The fact that we got ourselves a Pink Diamond Curry and Pink Diamond Pistol Pete all in one weekend leads me to believe that there's going to be some better cards coming out that can actually play defense. Because here's the thing. I think I actually like Steph Curry just a bit more than Pistol Pete. I said I wasn't a big fan of Steph Curry because he didn't feel that fast. Oddly enough, Steph Curry feels like he moves a little bit better than Pistol Pete. That 89 speed, you just really feel it on this card. And maybe that's just me. I played him the whole game and I'm not the best ball handler in this game as well. But Pistol Pete, he is a great offensive card on the pick and roll. He is sauce. But one thing I did not like about the card was the defense. There was just nothing I could do to get stops with this card. Even when I'm reading the lanes, the ball is going right over me without the interceptor badge. He can't clamp anyone. Once you get him in the interior, it's an automatic bucket as well. That's kind of where I enjoy more cards like Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, even Isaiah Thomas, who has been out for so long, can compete with this Pete Maravich. And even the brand new Amethyst DeJounte Murray, that card's going to be a bucket as well. So while Pete Maravich is a great card, he's just not going to be worth this $300,000 price tag that people are paying for him. I personally am going to end up selling him. If you guys end up picking him up and you guys are gods with him, then bless you guys. But for me personally, I'm going to be okay with Russell Westbrook and Isaiah Thomas for now because they still get the job done for me. And I'd rather hold on to my MT to spend that much on a much bigger player who I think is coming this Friday. Because again, Halloween weekend, just something to keep in mind, guys. But uh, with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the Blazion Nation. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.